Dear students, in this video, let us learn the topic photosensitization or energy transfer process. Let us try to understand what is meant by photosensitization. The substance which can absorb light and thus induce a photochemical change without itself taking part in the reaction is called photosensitizer and the phenomenon is called photosensitization. Let me tell you with the example that is photosynthesis. So in photosynthesis, chlorophyll absorbs light radiation and gets excited as chlorophyll star. In photosynthesis, chlorophyll never participate in photosynthesis, but it acts as a photosensitizer. That means this chlorophyll, this activated chlorophyll transfer its light energy to these two molecules, carbon dioxide and water, so that these two molecules will participate in a photochemical reaction. That is the meaning of photosensitization. This chlorophyll, it can absorb light and it will induce this photochemical reaction. But this chlorophyll will not participate in the photosynthesis. It just acts as a photosensitizer. It will sensitize the reaction, but not participate in the reaction. So such reactions are called photosensitization reactions. Photosensitizer absorbs light energy and passes it on to one of the reactants which participate in the reaction. Foreign substances which when added to a reaction mixture helps to start a photochemical reaction without undergoing chemical change in itself. It is called photosensitizer and the process is photosensitization. So we have different examples of photosensitization. First one is dissociation of hydrogen molecule in the presence of mercury vapor, photosynthesis of carbohydrates, and then decomposition of oxalic acid. So let us see these examples. In the very first example, dissociation of hydrogen molecule in the presence of mercury vapor. A hydrogen molecule is unable to absorb light radiation. However, when mercury vapor is mixed with hydrogen and expose it to light from a mercury vapor lamp, the reaction is photosensitized by mercury vapor as given in the above equation. Mercury vapor is absorbing the light and the energy uh, which is gained by the mercury is transferred to the hydrogen molecule so that hydrogen molecule gets dissociated into hydrogen atoms. Here, this mercury atom is acting as a photosensitizer. Coming to photosynthesis, as I discussed earlier, chlorophyll is the molecule that absorbs the light, and this chlorophyll transfers its energy to the either carbon dioxide or water. Neither water nor carbon dioxide absorb visible light radiation. It is the chlorophyll that absorbs light, and it passes that light energy to the these molecules. Hence here chlorophyll acts as a photosensitizer. And coming to the last example that is decomposition of oxalic acid. Oxalic acid gets decomposed in the presence of uranyl ions to carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and water. Here uranyl ions UO2 2 plus it will absorb the light radiation and becomes activated. So these uranyl ions, they will transfer this energy to the oxalic acid so that oxalic acid undergoes photochemical reaction and gets decomposed to carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and water. So these are the examples of photosensitization reactions or energy transfer reactions.